Hi you guys, it's your girl Chrissy and I'm back with another video. Um, excuse my face. I was going to, I cleaned my makeup case stuff yesterday and I was going to do my face. Actually, I'm probably still going to do my face. Uh, excuse me why I be looking at my hair because when the camera come on, it just seems like everything go wrong. Like your hair be all over the place and just period. And I'm using natural lighting today, y'all. Hopefully y'all can see me. Um, so I was going to go through my makeup case, freelance case. I am a new makeup freelancer. I've been doing makeup for a very long time, but I've just decided that I kind of want to take it out and do others makeup, which is a very scary situation for me, y'all, because <laughs> doing makeup on yourself and other people are totally different things because you actually have to learn other people's skin. That's what makes it even more, more intense because you know your skin, you know you got acne prone skin, you know what foundation works for you, you know what color you are, you know, things like that you become used to. But then when you're doing other people's makeup, you have to come accustomed to their face within minutes, basically. And fast, too, because unless you want to just stick with that one client a day, some people can do that. I prefer to have multiple clients today. <laughs> a day, sorry. So, I felt like, why not show y'all what's in my bag? And I do watch a lot of these on YouTube where I like to learn what people have in their bag. So, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully... Um, y'all are able to see everything I have in my bag. Oof. It's, it's a lot of stuff in here. I see people have, like, know how to make it compact. But like I said, I'm very new to this, y'all. So, and I'm actually using a suitcase. This is actually my daughter's suitcase. Um, my mommy don't know I'm using it, but if she watched this, hey, mommy. Okay, so, I'm gonna open this up. And I said it because my mom bought this for my daughter, y'all. So don't get it twisted. I don't live my mom and I'm not 10, even though my hair make me look like it. All right. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to do my Mickey Mouse um, case first. And... Okay, so this is what's inside. I got... Some cleaning or I have some cleaning products I got me some Lysol in there I got me some paper towels I got me some disinfecting wipes um little towels to take with me for my brushes and to clean up surfaces but usually I just use the paper towel when I'm cleaning other people's surfaces because I want to get rid of them germs right away I got me some all-purpose cleaner um deodorant because I sweat a lot and some Ziploc bags to put like dirty utensils or anything that I use that need throw away and I may not can find them trash can um i'm looking for a little pop-up trash can that i saw another makeup artist with and then in this little zip pouch as y'all can see right there i have some disposable spoolies um a little sponge these are my sponges y'all but this is sponge um let's see i got some hair pins just in case i need to put my hair back some scissors for the lashes some tapes for when I want to make it a very sharp eyeshadow and I think that's it that's in there all this stuff is clean I just cleaned this stuff yesterday y'all so I'm putting it right back where it's at when I say clean I mean I got everything down sanitize everything and then this is the zipper part right here that I'm opening up you guys can hear me bring it back and then this is some more of my makeup um, situations um I have my glitters right there I have some makeup sanitizer wipes some clips for people hair and my hair my lashes are in here um, I got a contour palette this is just an extra ziplock bag these are just ziplock bags you don't have to spend money on these I just thought these are cute and I saw them at Walmart um, this is some um, disposable lip um, lipstick brush things, sanitizing spray, wedge things, some more glitters and hair ties for my hair, some sanitizer spray, and then this is just a smell good spray. Um, this is my this is my brush case, y'all. Um, some 
beauty blenders off brand kind i got them from amazon they were just as good for me um i know sometimes the quality you can tell by how soft it is and how it soaks up things i haven't had a problem q-tips and i thought this was just really cool i'm not sure how well it works i haven't used it yet i might use it on myself today we're gonna find out some makeup wipes some lotion for my hands if they get dry and um my bh cosmetics palette i want to throw it away but i can't because it has so many colors and it has a lot of fallout but i use eyeshadow sh not eyeshadow yeah eyeshadow shield so they don't get everywhere it kind of helped me out because them, them colors is banging i'm sorry Got another brush kit the lip disposable lip things in a plastic bag here's another makeup bag hopefully y'all can see y'all but i ain't going too crazy I don't want to bore y'all with this video as well, you know? Okay, this is mine. That's a, a setting powder or finishing powder and chocolate, milk chocolate. Um, a little brown lash brush, makeup remover, the best makeup brush cleaner in the world. I love, I need a bigger one, but this is for on the go. Here's my mixing plate. I think I have a, yeah, this is a MAC highlighter blush. It's actually a blush, extra dimension blush. Love. Um, then I have some lip oil in here. So that's what's in there. Um, and that's all for that. And then I got to look, I have to look into my thing. So this is my makeup case, my real deal makeup case. It has a top compartment. Um, see, it's probably not much in this top part after I cleaned everything. Yeah, see, I got my brow whiz, pencil, uh, gel liner. That's it for that. And then I'm going to open the main compartment. And voila, this is where it's at. Um, oh, you have to do me like that. You have to do me like that. Let me try to open it all the way. Hopefully y'all can see. This is where our magic is. Um, I need to organize it a little bit better. But I feel like the little compartments are not going to work. But I also need to actually depot a lot of things. I, I realized that's just really what the deal is. The main thing that made me want to buy this is that mirror. Because I do not have a big mirror to take with me places. So I felt like this was so convenient to take this with me, you know, and to have that. So, and then you open that up and then I have um, some primers. I think these are my primers. Yeah, my NYX primers, the pigment primer, and then the glitter primer. I have me some eyebrow razors the scraper to scrape out like different products onto that mixing plate. I have a lash comber. This is some eyeliners. Um, I have my little eyelash applicator, lip liners, the ones that I use the most of. I, I don't um, tend to do a lot of people of uh, lighter complexions. Um, so a lot of times these are the only ones that I need. And a lot of other times too, people are using lipsticks which I've been using for a while now but that's a big thing just to use a lipstick to line the lips which makes so much sense um here's some concealers that I have and here's some more lipstick liquid lipsticks that I have and then I believe it's some more um that's an eyelash adhesive and that is a concealer um inside right here and excuse me for saying um a lot that's how I speak forgive um the these are my foundations these right here are the foundations that i use for my makeup case and these are some of my concealers now i spent some money on some concealers because i know concealer can really almost take the place of foundation you guys so that's why i have so many of those um i also spent a pretty penny on primers i have the elf primer in there that's another elf primer a black radiance primer um i got some more elf primer coming uh, some chapstick some setting powders i have them um, this is a bb cream um in the dark complexion that is some setting spray another primer by mac 
hand sanitizer and these are palettes that I'm using. It's some warm spray setting sprays in here too. I got the Urban Decay, I got the NYX. Then these are my palettes, Coastal Scents and Juvia's Place. Um, these are really technically all of the palettes that I need. Now I have way more, but these are all the palettes that I need because this technically is just like a blush palette. I actually want another one. I want one from Super. I hope she can look at this and like send me one. That would be nice. But um, this is a blush palette and it's beautiful. And really the highlight palette too. So that and then these have the, the main colors that you need. You just need a black and a brown and a few good colors, which I have in BH Cosmetics. And you are, you all that, you hear me? So I got that and I have my contour palette, which I need to re-up. I'm hitting pan on that one right there. And that one right there, because that was, I like that one. Um, this is a hydrating spray, rose water, um, for when it gets a little stiff. I got some more finishing powders. Those are the Coastal Scents. Uh, eyeshadow pads that I was talking about. This is a makeup remover in a spray bottle. This is not the one, the Garnier one. That's a different kind. I have some more primer, MAC Prep and Prime. I have a bronzer here. I really like this one. It looks really good on deeper skin tones. Um, and then, let's see, do I have anything else here? Oh, eyelash curler. I have that. And y'all, I think that's about it. I think that's really all that I have. I do have a zipper compartment um, right there. Oops. And oh, I have a few setting powders. This one's in there. Black Radiance. Oh, no, that's Black Opal, but I have Black Radiance in there as well. of those loose powders setting powders for deeper dark tones because that's usually my clients is that color as you can see um i need to go put that away that because <laughs> that's my makeup cleaning thing that i was cleaning earlier so that's technically it you guys with my my thing if you are a makeup artist up and coming um let a chick know what's up you know let teach me a few things i'm okay i take constructive criticism you know but don't be rude about it because you know i'm gonna tell you to try jesus you know um and that's it y'all i love you guys y'all be blessed in jesus name amen